No, no, no. Good morning, Mrs. Tomasa. Hi, my name is uh, I'm Nurse Pasi. I just came in to see how you're doing. I'll be your nurse for the rest of the day. How are you feeling this morning? Not good. Not very good. I see you're so sad. Yes. What's going on? Is there anything you can share for me? You should rest assured anything you share will remain confidential. I'm hiding this to my family that I have a cancer. I, I had my first chemo done and <laughs> I told them I'm going to go to Vancouver to see my sister, but I did not have my first chemo. And this way I did one. I learned again. <laughs> Do you think you do you think it'll be okay for me to call your husband? It would be a good idea to share with them. Maybe they'll be of so much support to you now that you're going through all this chemo. I'm afraid. I'm so scared. Should I call your husband for you? I think it will be okay. Yes, I think he will support you with this. Okay then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Miss Tomasi, I just called your husband and I think they're right here. Really? <laughs> oh, my name is something. I don't know sir. Where are our kids? to your family and that is making you more happy. Thank you, I'm thank happy you. For that. Oh, thank you. You made me come in jewelry. You're wonderful. Thank you. Hi, Tomasa. I'm Nurse Roy. I'm going to be your nurse for the day. How are you? Hi. I'm just a little bit upset. What's bothering you? I find my husband has changed since I told him that I have a cancer. I know I have a cancer and I know I have, I have this illness. And I feel like, I feel like I don't deserve him anymore. How has your relationship changed since the surgery? Not being supportive? Is he supportive? He's very supportive and I know he loves me so much. And maybe this is just the side effects of chemo. And also I'm worried that he, he will find someone, someone that's complete two boobies and I only have one. <laughs> you are adapting to this physical change. You need to examine some interventions so that you can see your different role function. You have mentioned your role as a woman and a wife. The love and respect that you have with your husband will help you deal with these changes. I'm not used to this, really. I'm not used to this. Change is difficult. We just need to learn how to adapt to these changes. You just reacted to an immediate focal stimuli that has also been affected by the context and residual stimuli of beliefs and experiences. Now let's examine your needs, evaluate your self-concept, and discuss your role and strengthen your ability to adapt. Maybe my husband and my daughter would like to be here. I can uh, get them for you. Oh, uh, sure, please. I would really appreciate it.
How are you doing today? Hi. Uh, I guess I'm okay. I am Nurse Benners. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Uh, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you yeah, too. Thank you. How have you been feeling this week? Uh, I guess I'm okay. Um, I've been vomiting this week and my hair is, is falling and last week I did I had a chemo and I think it's just because all of the chemos that I'm having. Yeah, chemo can cause a lot of unpleasant side effects. Tomasa, are vomiting and hair loss the side effects that are causing the most stress and interrupting your daily life the most? Are there others? Um, it's basically vomiting because I, I cannot do my thing, you know, at the house, take my children to school, and I feel like I barely do my job as a mother now, and it's, it's really hard for me. It's really hard for me. You're having problems. Are you having any problems, like getting your kids around, things like that? Yeah, yeah, like that, because of the vomiting, and... Okay. Okay, well, if you feel like the vomiting is interrupting your daily life. I can see if I can get you a stronger anti-emetic medication for between your rounds of chemo. I know when you're at home because you're an outpatient now. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. because you can't have the same care all the time that you have in the hospital, we'll see if we can adjust things to make sure you can go about your daily life at home. Okay. okay? That would be wonderful. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I can get a social worker as well to look at solutions for helping you get things done for your children. If you need a little extra help with those things at home. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you, Nurse Benner, because um, I had my nurse last night and they, they did that, even offer me something like this. And I really appreciate that you have this thought and thinking. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so much, Nurse Benner. You're welcome. You sound like you're having a bit of trouble adjusting to your role and feeling a little bit inadequate in your role as a mother now, is that right? That's correct. And there are um, there there are support groups that I'd like to direct you to for mothers who are dealing with cancer and the treatment, and as well for your children mm -hmm. and your husband. There's support groups for everyone in the family, so I can direct you to those places and let you know where you can go for a little bit of help to talk to other people who understand what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Would be nice if my my husband could be here as well because I won't be able to remember all of this. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, we yeah. can make sure that happens. Thank you.